सो फ्रेंड्स वन सेकेंड वेलकम टू आवर न्यू वीडियो सो विल स्टार्ट द टॉपिक दैट इज पॉलीसाइक्लिक कंपाउंड्स सो पॉलीसाइक्लिक कंपाउंड्स आर इंक्लूडेड इन द सिलेबस ऑफ फार्मोसिटिकल ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री टू सेकेंड ईयर बी फॉर्म सेमिस्ट्री टू सो माय सेल्फ गणेश मोटे आई एम वर्किंग एज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन अन्ना साइड डांगे कॉलेज ऑफ फार्मोसी डिस्ट्रिक्ट सांगली द स्पेस और द प्लेस सीड्स अष्टा So we'll start the basic point. So resonance forms of naphthalene we'll discuss. There are three forms of naphthalene are there. So double bonds present in the naphthalene. There are five double bonds are there. If you are considering three resonance form, you just see. So three double bonds are there in one ring, first, second, and third. Then here. Alternate double bonds are available, so means only five double bonds are included in the resonance forms of naphthalene. Same way, if this double bond will be shifted to this side, and alternate double bond will coming here. Same way, here it will come. Next, same this double bond is shifted towards this ring, so alternate double bond will be observed at this way. Hence. That there are three resonance forms of naphthalene are observed. Then we will see the resonance forms of anthracene. There are four resonance forms of naphthalene are observed. You just consider as per this rule. Here three rings are there. One ring having three, another two, and last one having two. So total seven double bonds are there. Means. Fourteen pi electrons are present, and here ten pi electrons are present. So according to Dubey-Huckel rule or Huckel rule, Huckel rule says alternate double bond here it will satisfy. It contain cyclic ring here also it will satisfy, and six four uh, n plus two here also this rule will be satisfy here. If you are considering anthracene and naphthalene. They are undergoes electrophilic substitution reaction. We'll discuss the resonance forms of anthracene. There are four forms of anthracene are available. You just see first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seven double bonds are there. So first resonance forms of anthracene. Here this bond will be shifted to this side, so double bond will come in here, and another alternate double bonds are. Here will be observed. Same, this double bond will be shifted to this side, and double alternate double bond will come in at this side. And then this double bond is coming to this side, so alternate double bond at these sides will be observed. So all of you understood the resonance forms of anthracene. Then we discuss the resonance forms of phenanthrene. There are five resonance forms of phenanthrene are observed. Here also three cyclic rings are there. Alternate double bond are there. Aromatic compound is there. And they are following electrophilic substitution reaction, cyclic, planar, and having the fourteen pi electrons. Then we we'll discuss the resonance forms. Here, if you are considering double bond one, two, three, four, fifth, six, and seven. If double bond giving here, alternate double bond will come in here and here. Okay. If this double bond will be shifted to this side, the structure will come in at like this, this one. Then this double bond will be shifted to this side. So middle ring having three double bond and remaining two having alternate double bond. Okay. That is the resonance form. Then if you are considering if This double bond is removing means middle ring having only two ring. Here, if you are giving double bond here, and two resonance form will be arise here in that way. And then, if this double bond will be shifted, if this double bond it will be coming at this location, this. This, so another resonance structure will be coming in that way. 
so five resonance forms of phenanthrin are observed <coughs> we discuss the resonance structure once again five double bonds are there here five double bonds five double bond one double bond we are giving here it will dislocate at this and again it will dislocate to this side here another double bond in the anthracene coming at this three bond we are giving in the ring this will shift it to this and alternate double bond will give and this double bond will shift it to this and alternate double bond will be observed and this will come into this an alternate double bond and due to that the structure is coming in that way same way double bond we are giving at this alternate double bond and it will circulate to this ring then the same way this double bond coming at this an alternate double bond will form a structure and this double bond coming to this side alternate double bond will be coming in the next here if you are giving the double bond at this location alternate double bond are coming in that way if alternate double bond are giving in that way so the structure will like this then we will discuss the reactivity of naphthalene alpha site and beta sites are very suspective for electrophilic substitution reaction but if you are considering the stability alpha substitution is more stable compound and beta substitution having required vigorous condition if you are attaching electrophile to the alpha position means electrophile will attach to the alpha position that will produce positive site at ortho and para position that compound is more stable if electrophile attached to the beta site of the naphthalene it will produce positive sites at meta position that is not stable compound or instable compound so to have the good product we should substitute electrophile at the ortho position that is the reactivity means electrophilic substitution reaction observed at the alpha position not in the beta position but if you want to have the product for beta substituted compound we should have the various reactive conditions like various solvents we will use we will increase the temperature so substitution at the beta position will be possible then we will discuss the reactivity of anthracene there are two chances are there c2 attack and c9 attacks are there if you are attaching the electrophile at the beta position at the anthracene it will get the less stable compound if you are attaching electrophile <coughs> to the c9 position it will get the stable compound and more chances to get the stabilized compound that is c9 here electrophilic substitution reaction observed at the c9 position let's see the example anthracene electrophile will react to form this compound having positive site if proton will be removed the stable compound having electrophile will get if proton will not remove the nucleophile will attach to form the compound with electrophile and nucleophile that is the reactivity of anthracene i discuss the conclusion on reactivity naphthalene undergoes electrophilic substitution at c1 position anthracene and phenanthrin undergoes electrophilic substitution at c9 position once again the as per resonance energy resonance energy of benzene is 36 and resonance energy of naphthalene is 61 resonance energy of anthracene is 84 and resonance energy of phenanthrin is 92 by considering resonance energy highest res resonance energy is for phenanthrin and lesser resonance energy is for benzene if compound having lesser resonance energy that will be high aromatic compound means benzene is high aromatic compound and phenanthrin is less aromatic compound same way if you are considering resonance energy how will you correlate with the activity or reactivity so phenanthrin is more reactive compound or active compound means they are easily susceptible for electrophilic substitution but if you are considering the benzene benzene undergoes electrophilic substitution but 
reactivity is lesser than the phenanthrene. If you are considering the reactivity, the phenanthrene is more reactive than the anthracene, than the naphthalene and benzene. If you are considering aromaticity, benzene is more aromatic than naphthalene, anthracene and phenanthrene. And if you are considering resonance energy, highest resonance energy for your phenanthrene that is 92 kilocalories per mole. Then we will discuss the synthesis methods of naphthalene that is the product naphthalene we are synthesizing we are synthesizing from benzene we are reacting benzene with the succinic anhydride in presence of aluminum chloride that is Riedel-Craft acylation reaction and we are getting benzyl propionic acid structure here carbonyl group is observed benzyl propionic acid then this compound undergoes cyclization or removal of water molecule or this carbonyl group is going to reduce here carbonyl group is going to reduce in presence of zinc and HCl so this compound phenyl butyric acid will be produced and again removal of water H and OH from this with the help of sulfuric acid to form tetralone and this tetralone undergoes again reduction your carbonyl group will be converted into the cyclic ring and per hydro naphthalene compound is produced that is tetraline and tetraline again reduce in presence of palladium to form naphthalene that is the Howard synthesis this basic method or important method for the synthesis of naphthalene then another method is also there we are reacting phenyl 3 butanic acid and we will make the cyclization to remove the water molecule in presence of sulfuric acid we will get the naphthalene then for phenyl 1 butene we will react with the calcium oxide to form naphthalene one more source is there that is petroleum petroleum we are getting at 680 degrees centigrade in presence of copper to form naphthalene these are the synthetic methods of naphthalene or synthesis of naphthalene first one is over synthesis second one is from 4 phenyl 3 butanic acid third one is 4 phenyl 1 butene and fourth one is from petroleum benzene react with the succinic anhydride in presence of aluminum chloride to form benzoyl propionic acid and this carbonyl group reduce to form phenyl butyric acid and cyclization for this will get the tetralone in tetralone again carbonyl group reduced to form tetraline and this site will be reduced into the naphthalene okay that is the over synthesis next one synthesis of anthracene that is the structure of anthracene here it is given again we are applying over synthesis for anthracene same starting material we are using here benzene but instead of succinic anhydride we will use thalic anhydride if the CO group is there we forgot to write here thalic anhydride and it will produce benzoyl benzoic acid the compound will after cyclization of Riedel-Craft acylation in presence of aluminum chloride to form benzyl benzyl acid next here OH and H will remove in presence of H2SO4 it will make 19 anthracanone and 19 anthracanone reduced to form anthracene one more technique is there that is friedel craft alkylation for that two molecules of benzyl chloride reacted in presence of aluminum chloride to form anthracene that is the second method third method that is alba synthesis your methyl benzophenone compound we are using and we are heating at 450 degrees centigrade to get anthracene next diacylder reaction also we can apply here 
naphthaquinone compound reacted with the 1,3-butadiene to form a duct in this adduct nucleus reaction with the chromium trioxide to form 90-anthraquinone that is oxidation to remove the hydrogen atom 19-anthraquinone undergoes reduction in presence of zinc to form anthracene okay so these are the synthesis methods first one is our synthesis for that benzene and thalic nitride we are using and again it will produce benzyl benzoic acid and 19 anthracinone 19 anthracinone undergoes reduction to form anthracene fidel craft oxidation include benzyl chloride it will react to another benzyl chloride in presence of aluminum chloride to form anthracene Alba synthesis include orthomethyl benzophenone heated at 450 degrees centigrade to get anthracene. Naphthaquinone reacted with the 1,3-butadiene to form a duct, and this compound undergoes oxidation to form 19-anthraquinone, and 19-anthraquinone undergoes reduction to form anthracene. Okay, these are the basic methods of anthracene synthesis. We'll apply the Howard synthesis for whole three compounds that is naphthalene, phenanthrene and anthracene. We'll discuss initially naphthalene. Naphthalene will prepare from benzene with succinic anhydride to form benzyl propionic acid. Benzyl propionic acid undergoes reduction to form phenylbutyric acid and phenylbutyric acid undergoes cyclization to form tetralone tetralone undergoes reduction to form tetraline tetraline undergoes reduction to form naphthalene next way synthesis of anthracene anthracene to form initially benzene react with the thalic anhydride instead of succinic anhydride we are reacting with the thalic anhydride we'll get benzyl benzoic acid we are reacting with the aluminum chloride that is also del craft acylation reaction then benzyl benzoic acid again make the cyclization to remove the water molecule to get 19 anthraquinone 19 anthraquinone undergoes reduction to form anthracene here the synthesis of anthracene is similar then again if you want to have the product of phenanthrene we are taking starting material is naphthalene naphthalene we are reacting with the succinic anhydride same as we discussed in the synthesis of naphthalene naphthalene and succinic anhydride reacted to form two oxo naphthalene butyric acid then this undergoes reduction to form 4 naphthalene butyric acid then again this cyclization to get phenanthroquinone and this phenanthroquinone undergoes reduction to form perhydrophenanthrene and perhydrophenanthrene undergoes reduction in presence of palladium to form phenanthrene so these are the synthesis methods of naphthalene, anthracene and phenanthrene so once again we will revise only phenanthrene naphthalene with succinic anhydride to form 3-oxo-3 phenanthrene or naphthalene butyric acid undergoes reduction here the group is going to reduce next remove of water molecule to make cyclized compound that is Phenanthroquinone, phenanthroquinone undergoes reduction to form 4-hydrophenanthrene and 4-hydrophenanthrene undergoes reduction to form phenanthrene. Then we will discuss reactions of naphthalene. Here we are getting various derivatives when we are reacting with the various reaction like oxidation is there, then reduction is there, electrophilic substitution include halogenation, sulfonation, nitration, Fidel craft oscillation and Fidel craft alkylation. 
so same reaction we can apply here for naphthalene and we are having various derivatives like one is alpha naphthol second one is beta naphthol third one is alpha naphthylamine fourth one is beta naphthylamine okay if you want to have the product alpha naphthol and alpha naphthylamine we are having the normal reaction but if you want to have the product beta naphthylamine or beta naphthol so we have the vigorous condition we should maintain that is if you are using uh, organic solvent that is nitrobenzene and we are heating at high temperature that is 160 degrees centigrade that precaution we should take for having various derivatives so we will discuss reactions of naphthalene here we will discuss Friedel-Crafts acylation initially naphthalene reacted with the acyl chloride in presence of aluminum chloride to get acetyl naphthalene and this reduced to form alkylated naphthalene again this compound reduced to form hydroxylated naphthalene second reaction that is hallucination naphthalene react with the halogen that is chlorine fluorine bromine iodine and we are getting product that is one chloro naphthalene and next is nitration reaction naphthalene reacted with nitric acid and sulfuric acid to form alpha nitro naphthalene and this compound reduced to form alpha naphthylamine and this alpha naphthylamine reacted with the ammonia in presence of sulfuric acid to form alpha naphthol next reaction is sulfonation naphthalene react with the sulfuric acid to form alpha naphthyl sulfonic acid alpha naphthyl sulfonic acid react with the NH to form alpha naphthol okay these are the normal reaction if you want to have the product at beta position so we'll make this sulfonation reaction at 160 degrees centigrade to get beta naphthyl sulfonic acid and this will react with the NH to form beta naphthol and beta naphthol reacted with the ammonia to form beta naphthylamine so the four derivatives are synthesized from the naphthalene one is beta naphthylamine second one is beta naphthol third one is alpha naphthol and alpha naphthylamine next reaction we are making fidel craft oscillation at vigorous condition means we are using solvent that is nitrobenzene so acetylation will be observed at the beta position and again this compound reacted with the sodium hypobromide to form acid naphthalic acid will be produced and again this will reduce to form alkylated naphthalene okay, these are the reactions of naphthalene and then we will discuss reactions of anthracene same reaction we can apply here first one is oxidation second one is reduction third one is electrophilic substitution electrophilic substitution having halogenation sulfonation nitration fidel craft oscillation fidel craft alkylation anthracene is the chlorination to form 9 chloro anthracene second acetylation in presence of aluminum chloride to form 9 acetyl anthracene third one reaction with the nitric acid in presence of acetic anhydride to form 9 nitro anthracene then reaction with the sulfuric acid to form alpha sulfonic acid anthracene next one reduction reduction in presence of ethanol to form per hydro anthracene in oxidation in presence of sodium dichromate in presence of sulfuric acid to form 9 anthraquinone next anthracene reacted with the succinic anhydride to form adduct then reaction with the alkyl chloride or ethyl chloride in presence of sodium to form 19 diethyl anthracene okay these are the reaction first one is chlorination acetylation nitration sulfonation 
reduction, oxidation, dissolve the reaction, and Friedel Craft calculation. Okay, these are the reactions of anthracene. Next one reactions of phenanthrene. Same we can apply here also. Chlorination to make 9 chlorophenanthrene. Stylation to make 9 acetylphenanthrene. Nitration to make 9 nitrophenanthrene. Sulfonation to make beta sulfonyl phenanthrene. Reduction to form per hydrophenanthrene. Oxidation in presence of sodium dichromic to form phenanthropinone 19 phenanthropinone okay. these are the reaction first one is chlorination second one is acetylation third one nitration fourth one sulfonation fifth one reduction sixth one oxidation then uses Phthalene is used as a moth balls used to protect woolen goods from the moths having the good odor or flavor it is also used in the increasing illuminating power of coal gas Phthalene can be used in manufacturing of phthalic anhydride carbaryl for insecticide to naphthol dyes and some other medicinal products we can synthesize from naphthalene then uses of anthracene and phenanthrene anthracene is used in the synthesis of anthracenone and anthraquinone is a dye dye that is alizarin we can synthesize alizarin from anthraquinone and phenanthrene the compound is carcinogenic compound and sometimes we are using in the synthesis of various oral contraceptives and anti-inflammatory agent then we discuss about diphenylmethane here the compound is dimethyl diphenylmethane and triphenylmethane diphenylmethane has been produced from benzyl chloride and benzene here the HCl will be removed from diphenylmethane one more technique that is from benzophenone benzophenone undergoes reduction to form diphenylmethane triphenylmethane will produce from benzene and trichloromethane in presence of aluminum chloride that is Friedel-Craft alkylation to form triphenyl methane so this is the synthesis of diphenyl methane and that is the synthesis of triphenyl methane benzene and benzyl chloride to form diphenyl methane chloroform and benzene to form triphenyl methane then where is derivatives of diphenyl methane if, if you are making hydroxylation to form benzhydrol oxidation to form benzophenone benzoyl undergoes oxidation to form benzophenone and benzophenone undergoes reduction to form benzhydro then we will discuss the uses of diphenylmethane and triphenylmethane these are used as a polymer then in synthesis of acetaminophen or paracetamol in synthesis of dyes and we are preparing various synthetic steroid also thanking for listening to my voice seeing my video and when again we will discuss next video in next section for that you should subscribe my channel and keep watching my channel also you should like the channel so please like and watch and subscribe the channel thank you very much